Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at my Echo 58 volt string trimmer. You know, um, if you follow this channel you may know that I have a Husqvarna auto mower that cuts my lawn. In fact, let's see if we can find our mowies dinking around out here. There he is. But he doesn't get everything. He can't trim around the trees. So for that, I'm using a battery powered string trimmer. I use this 58 volt Echo detachable trimmer. I've got a couple other attachments for it. It works really well. But I think when I had one of the other attachments on it, I may have sprung the shaft in here or possibly worse. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take my microphone and we're going to move it around here as I run this machine. First I'll hold it back. I'm getting vibrations through here and a lot of noise down here. There's obviously a problem up here in the power head, so let's get it up on the bench and pull it apart and see if we can find it. So here's one thing I always do whenever I open one of these up. So I get a picture of the guts. That way, things like this spring right here, and this spring hidden in here, they don't surprise me later. This is what we're going to do. We're going to pull this piece out. I was thinking this was going to be bent, but uh, now that I look at it, I don't think it is. Well, it sure don't vibrate with the shaft out of there. Spins perfect. Maybe this piece is kinked or bent. So, what we're going to do, we get a new one. Let's just put this in here. Snug it up. Yeah, now it's starting to make noise back here. We're going to have to dig into the power head itself and see what's going on. Boy, oh boy, there's a lot of screws. All right, let's tear into this a little bit. What's this do? Look at that. There's a controller board in there. Hmm. A lot of stuff in there. 
I wonder if I can just loosen these screws on this side. One little, two little, three little piggies. Crap! Well, we just keep taking apart until we get to the source of the problem. Yeah, I know. Hey, look at that. Got to the point where I can disconnect some wires. Hey, look at that, a flux capacitor. By golly. You know, I do work for an Echo dealership, and I have access to all the training materials for pulling these apart, but what fun is that? Doing this on my time, right? My candy bar is out in the garage. It's 80 degrees out here. We're gonna go put that away. There's like two, three, four, six screws in here yet. I wish this whole piece came out as one. All right, that's what we're looking at. Okay, that's just the cover. That's just the bottom half of that cover. There it is. So why does it make so damn much noise? Doesn't sound hollow now. There's no play in here. It's not even close to being loose. The only thing I can really find wrong this uh, base right here has these three pedestals and each one of these pedestals is flush to the base flush to the base not flush to the base let's go see what all the noise is outside Be dick. At least he's cutting the grass, not me. So I'm just going to put it back together and see what happens. Put it back on the table and see how much vibration we have. Almost none. What a difference. So before we had noise and vibration, and now we just have noise. What are you doing, Molly?
All right, I'm happy enough with that. Thanks for watching. Later.